what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for fantastic beast the secrets of dumbledore this movie is coming to us directed by david yates with a screenplay from jk rowling and steven or steve cloves uh it is starring eddie redmayne jude law ezra miller dan fogler allison sudell callum turner jessica williams katherine waterson and mads mickelson so this film is taking place a couple years after the first two entries the, the crimes of grindelwald and the original fantastic beast and where to find them taking place in the 1930s this is basically again us going over grindelwald's rise to power it's taking place and showing us the wizarding world's involvement in world war ii and just exploring these different magical communities in Germany, China, as well as the ones you're already accustomed to in the UK and the United States. And again, it's just going over Grindelwald's power rapidly growing. Albus Dumbledore entrusts Newt's commander and his friends with a mission leading to a clash with Grindelwald's army. Dumbledore must also decide how long he will stay on the sidelines in the approaching war. So off the bat, I have to say that this movie does a great job at pushing things forward and getting you invested in what's to come. And what I mean by that is coming out of the crimes of Grindelwald, I was more so like, do I really care where this is going to end up now? Now I'm back to caring. With the extra writer in the writing room, I think that was a big difference. Not to say that one outshined the other, because I don't know who really contributed what to why this movie turned out to be as good as it did. But J.K. Rowling, to me, just felt like she was going off of the deep end a bit with The Crimes of Grindelwald. Certain plot points, the way she didn't really pay attention to certain continuity things that have been established as well for longtime diehard fans of this universe and of the of the novels i i know where you're coming from in that regard so there's a lot of plot points here that are fixed because of this dynamic writer duo that i think should be kept up going into the last two movies because i know jk rowling is a talented writer we've seen that but we also know that steve cloves is responsible for bringing a lot of the screenplays to life for the harry potter films i think these two working together going forward would be best for business if this is what we end up getting uh, certain plot points regarding a certain character that you um, i know a lot of people said didn't make sense it was a lot of source of plot holes for some that is going to be fixed here i'm not saying it fixes a lot of the larger issues that you might have with this franchise but certain plot points and narrative reveals that you say don't make sense or plot holes they don't become plot holes thanks to the progressions here in this movie the way it explores dumbledore is also very interesting because of how mysterious this character has been presented in this universe it was a nice opportunity to get to learn him a little bit better learn about other characters we've already been talked heard talked about regarding his life such as his brother and also his sister ariana who has been shown throughout this franchise countless times and seeing certain fan theories even become a reality here was very exciting for me when it relates to this movie. Uh, I also appreciated how Newt's commander came into his own a lot more here. There was times where I'm watching these movies and I'm like, okay, we know it's building towards Grindelwald and Dumbledore's battle, so why are we not focusing more on those two? We do spend a lot of time with Grindelwald and Dumbledore who share a lot of scenes in this movie actually. And every time they're on screen together, they share great chemistry. But going back to Newt really quick, the reasoning for newt's the frustration i had with newt was just why do you want me to be so attached to this character what are you trying to convince me of here this movie does a better job at just making him stand on his own making his role involved in this larger battle that's coming feel a lot more important and we see why dumbledore trusts him a lot more the fact that he shares scenes with dumbledore give me gave me a chance as an audience member to say okay i see why this is our focus point i still hope that dumbledore is the focus going into these last two movies but newt really does come into his own here and i love the way that his beasts are also factored in in very prevalent ways the creatures that these wonderful creatures that we know exist in this universe given that the franchise title is fantastic beast they are also very involved in this narrative just like how they were involved in the fantastic Beasts: where to find them film i feel like they took a took a seat back in the crimes of grindelwald other than just highlighting some unique creatures but with this they're involved in the conflict they're revolt they're involved in some of the resolutions in said conflict they share a lot of humorous scenes um such as the crab walk <laughs> that you have in the trailer which is one of the more humorous moments in this film i just like the way the beast felt relevant to the overall plot and narrative and it was helping them live up to their title 
making you feel for these beasts and some of the uh, more sadder moments that happen with them in this film. This movie is also very emotional. It balances that romance, sadness, humor, intense action all so well. And all the emotions you feel throughout the movie, they are not outshining each other it's just like a roller coaster of emotions that feel earned by the time the movie comes off it has a clear beginning middle end which i didn't feel the, the crimes of grindelwald had uh again certain narrative progressions here were tremendous stellar performances as always i do need to talk about the character of jacob kowalski really quick who is portrayed tremendously by dan fogler he his nomad self is somebody that all of us muggles watching these movies just associated with so well i believe he here he is in this in this world as a muggle doing what many of us wish we could do and he's so likable dan folk's portrayal of him makes him even more likable and just the way he manages to maneuver his way in this world with without barely getting hurt is just what it, many of us want to do as muggles <laughs> so it's always nice to see that character and see him develop a little bit better here this time around as well uh i also liked the portrayal of grindelwald from uh mads mickelson he's very uh evil in the role also very charming also captivating and again his seek his scenes that he shares with jude law they have a lot of great chemistry there's also a battle that's shown in the trailer when that battle happens it feels earned there's a lot of great setups and payoffs that happen in this movie a lot of great camera work as well uh also very nostalgic with its with the score that james howard has put together here this time around that calls back to the harry potter franchise the shot that i'm speaking of that also was like my favorite shot for the movie was regarding a sequence between dumbledore and credence who again is portrayed brilliantly by ezra miller where the camera's tilting and shifting from one realm to the next and i think that's going to also make a few people dizzy but the way is the way it's done is also just very magical also some tricks like that we saw in the scream movie if you watch my screams scream videos i enjoyed the fantastic beast secrets of dumbledore i like the way they explored dumbledore a little bit more i like the way they progressed the narrative and fixed certain narrative plot points that have made a lot of people upset better pacing everything was just structured better here i give it a seven and a half out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video